Like, I still outwork the brokest person yeah. in the room. I still outwork the brokest person I know. You yeah. get what I'm saying? I can get a $10 million check the day. I'm going to be the hardest working person I know the day after. A lot of the things that I buy, like the luxury things I buy, like, I be too busy working to enjoy them. You get what I'm saying? I got them on standby until, you know what I'm saying? It, until I feel the need to, because I don't feel like I've done half of, of what I'm set out to do. Following your dreams is never easy, really, because, you know, it's going to take work, and it's going to take dedication, and it's going to take focus, and it's going to take drive. But as long as you really love it, and you really want it, and you keep that laser focus, then nothing is impossible. You got this. The goal is not to be successful and famous. That's not the goal. The goal is, if you have a specific God-given ability, is to live your life out through that. I don't have time to be angry. You know how much time it takes to hold an attitude and a grudge? That's time and energy. I don't have that time. The time that it takes you to go, I don't like that person, and keep that in you over a period of time, that's a lot of time that can be devoted to something positive. I choose positive because overall, positive will always beat negative. Courage is the key to life itself. I had a long haul from where I came from to here, but here we are. There are a lot of people who are born in situations where they say, well, I just, I'll never get out of this. So they won't. I say to people who say, well, I, I would like to have done so and so and so. Some of you could have done it. So, well, I couldn't get out of here. Man, the bus runs every day. <laughs> I outlasted the pain. I outlasted the pain. When I was sleeping in those abandoned buildings, I kept telling myself, one day you'll be a homeowner. Every time I walked into that abandoned building, I told myself that this might be your current circumstances, but this will not be how the story ends. All you have to do, E.T., is to survive today. That's what defines the greatest performers from the people who haven't quite made it yet. It's really their ability to say, oh, if I should train now, I will. Oh, if I should eat like this, I will. Oh, if I should do this, okay, then I will. It's collapsing that, knowing what, knowing what you should do, and actually doing it, and making that one. And that's ultimately a choice. It's time to chase every dream, accept every challenge, strive for greatness, honor every promise, and recommit to your community. Tomorrow's not promised. Anybody who hasn't spoken to their parents, or their brother, or their cousin that they had a thing with or their ex and they don't talk anymore call them right now i do not want someone to be gone and i wish i had and wish i could have and all, i'm i'm just i'm not doing that in my life your growth is the only limit to your happiness if you're not happy you're not growing in some area and usually it's a place where you're blaming you're pointing the finger I don't care if it's government, don't get me wrong. People can be unfair, unjust, that's for sure happens. But you can't control that. You can't make it not happen. What you have to do is become stronger than any of it so you're free. Freedom comes from growth. Freedom does not come from control. Like if I'm a change, I gotta make like the hard choices. It's hard for people to make sacrifice because you gotta now go, go against and do without some of the things that gives you that momentary gratification, that simple, that Ah, that's what keeps you alive. That's what keeps you going. Just to go on vacation one time a year to get these pair of shoes that may cost me a thousand dollars. I know I can't afford them, but I've worked so hard. I need that just to keep giving yeah. me something. There's no future in cool. That's a trend. That's a fad. It comes and it goes just like dope money. Dope money comes quick and leaves quicker. Okay. We're here for a slow, but a for show. This is a marathon, not a sprint. Paso corto, vista larga, which is short steps, long vision. How do you sleep on nights when you lose five million bucks? Mm. A nice cigar. <laughs> hey, you gotta celebrate your failures and your success. Yeah, you know, that. because there is a lesson to be learned in everything. You know, when you have a great success, a good exit, you sell a company or whatever it may be, you celebrate because it's a good milestone in life. And then when you lose something bad happens, hey, it's an expensive lesson learned. You still celebrate it. Yeah. Because if, if you take it with a negative notation, that's just going to keep eating you inside and it's going to limit your upside. You can protect yourself from negativity. You know, I get tired sometimes. That's different from being negative because I get mentally drained from my job at times. The way you can put a coating around your mind is with one simple thing, gratitude.
Start going over in your mind everything you have to be grateful for. Not everything you want, everything you already have, because what you have is substantial. You just haven't gone over the list and taken inventory in a long time. Learn to say fuck you to the world every once in a while. You have every right to just stop thinking, worrying, looking over your shoulder, wondering, doubting, fearing, hurting, hoping for some easy way out. Stop it and just do. I was a soft kid. I was sensitive, I'd cry easy, and I would be scared to fist fight. And my mother used to tell me this thing, I don't even know if you remember, but you said this to me more than once. You said, son, sometimes you have to be a lion so you can be the lamb you really are. I talk this like a lion. I'm not afraid of any of you when it comes word to word. I will gab with the best of them just so I can chill and be me. Life is unpredictable. Not everything's in our control, but as long as you're with the right people, you can handle anything. Well, what about talent? Talent? I don't believe in talent. Well, some people, they have talent. That's it's good. It helps when you have talent. As long as you have a lot of determination and willpower, that's all you need. And you, you have to have the will to win. When I was young, I thought that Success was all I needed. That's what was gonna bring the happiness. Buying my mom a house, fame, the accolades, having people say, yo, you are the best in the game. I thought those would be the things that would bring happiness. And then when those things came, the, the happiness wasn't there. And I, I realized why that was. There was, a, there was such an attempt to achieve these things and to keep going that you lose sight of the people and the blessings that you have around you you're so focused on the next success the next step in your career the next check whatever it is and you forget the fact that you have these these things that seem small um if you're looking that way but if you look this way you realize they're the only thing that matters and that's your mother that's your family that's love there's three type of people you need in your life you need the inspired the excited and the grateful so now you sit here and tell me you don't know what to do? You know what to do. But the people you're around ain't doing what you're supposed to be doing. I'm begging you from a man to a man. Let go. Let go. Let go of these people who you know aren't for you. I always felt like I could do anything. That's the main thing people are controlled by. Thoughts, their perception of themselves. They're slowed down by their perception of themselves. If you're taught you can't do anything, you won't do anything. I was taught I could do everything. <laughs> and I'm Kanye West at age 36. I'm not perfect, man. I wake up and sometimes I don't think I'm good enough. Sometimes I don't think I'm creative enough. Sometimes I don't think my movie's gonna work or the writing isn't great or the this or the that or da da da. But once again, that's just, that's, that's the voice in your head that you have to tell to fuck off. And then maybe you take a little bit of that chip that it's giving you and use it as fuel. No matter what people perceive of me, I always shine through at the end of the day. So I've had a lot of people try to tear me down, but I'm here. And I have always been myself, and I've always wanted that, and I've been graceful, and I've tried to handle myself with as much class, and it's only because I know how hard I work, and I'm not going to let any of that get to me. This is a hard world. Don't nobody give you nothing. You have to work for it. I'm blessed to be able to beat up everybody. So I want to beat up everybody until I can't beat them no more. If I can go 10 more years, I'm going to keep on doing it. When I was young, I had a lot of people telling me, you have to adjust to the other ones. You have to be like the other ones. I was listening, but I, I wasn't always following. I kept doing my own thing, and I believed in myself. I kept going, and it brought me where I am today. I've been happy broke, and I've been happy rich, and happy rich is way better. <laughs> I'll just tell you that. I have been happy when I was broke. I've had, I've been happy broke. I've had a loving family. I've had, but I can't create happiness for a whole lot of other people without any money. I just like to be around peace. And if you've went through and experienced as much pain as I have, I've been through a tremendous amounts of pain, physically, mentally, spiritually. I've been through hell. In order to appreciate and understand great peace, you have to have went through and experienced great pain. You don't choose your passions, your passions choose you. 
And all of us are gifted with certain passions, and the people who are lucky are the ones who get to follow those things. You can have a job, or you can have a career, or you can have a calling. And if you can somehow figure out how to have a calling, you have hit the jackpot, because that's the big deal. You can't wait until life isn't hard anymore before you decide to be happy. If you think a lot of money is going to make you happy, you never had a lot of money before. So what do you value now? What's at the top for you to value? Me, my children, my whole barometer of life. Yeah. My mom said, uh, you need to get a job. I said, I already have a job. I'm just not getting paid yet. I'm working on my dream. That's my job. If I'm going to pay attention to my nightmare, I should be able to work on my dream. Well, some, some, one of them is going to take my energy. I would rather give my energy to my dream than my nightmare. When anyone asks me, like, what should I do? I'm just like, just do anything. Anything will lead to something else. And, and you just got to get out there and take a chance. Even if it's unpaid work, whatever it is, it will lead to something better. So do everything. But you got lucky. Guys like you always think other people get lucky. I don't get lucky. I make my own luck. I know billionaires and I know millionaires and I know people who ain't got all. And the un most unhappy people are the richest ones. That's a fact. That's true. So all you people out there, yeah, listen to that. I've got billionaire mates and they're very unhappy. They're never happy. If they found 100 grand on the floor, they wouldn't make them happy. They'd be looking for the next one because enough is never enough. They're always chasing more. And no matter what they achieve, they're always trying to go again and try and make more. But for me, I I'm happy. Like, I'd be happy if I lived in a council flat up there in a, in a tower block. I don't really care because I don't need a flash house or a flash car for someone to like me. If they don't like me, then boom. So the goal was to be the first one at breakfast. So I set my alarm. I make sure I'm up by sunrise. I get out of bed. I put on my gear and I head downstairs. But when I get there, Kobe's already there with ice packs on his knees, drenched in sweat. Now, it took me a minute to figure it out, but this guy wasn't only awake before me. He had already worked out. He had just played in the finals days earlier. Meanwhile, I'd been off for months and I was still exhausted. What he had done that morning was incomprehensible to me. That dedication he had only days after falling short of an NBA championship. That taught me something I've never forgotten. Legends aren't defined by their successes. They're defined by how they bounce back from their failures. And so my mentality is I walk into work every day. Number one responsibility, how do I make us more money? Number two, how do I get some money? That's my approach to business. The minute I walk in every single day, I'm unapologetic about it. It's not personal or anything like that. I am constantly, constantly trying to win because winning is what's going to create other opportunities. We all have two lives. The second begins when you realize you only have one. To be 67, having just buried my mother, I made a promise to her and to God to do, not just to do good the right way, but to honor my mother and my father by the way I live my life the rest of my days on this earth. I'm here to serve, to help, to provide. But in every prayer, all I hear is feed my sheep. That's what God wants me to do. As much as you, you, you want to be able to listen a little bit because somebody's going to give you a gem, but you nobody knows but you. You can't get advice on what you should do with your life right nobody knows what you are like even even sometimes you don't really even know what you what you are you got to take your shot and it, it's like as much as you want people to agree and you want the people around you to be supporting your dreams and all it's not going to be like that all the time you got to do it alone